Hello again internet and welcome back. I'm not going to put my face on camera today because I look like crap and yeah I know I sound like crap as well. Um, yeah I've had this cold there for a couple of weeks uh, and gave it to the whole family so yeah my name is Mud around here at the moment. So I've disappeared outside to um, well escape the abuse. <laughs> so today quick job on the Tigra and that quick job revolves around this. So, quick unboxing, there you go, box is open, job done, throw that away, and there you go, we have a stereo, it's as exciting as that. Right, so let's get the old one out, let's get the new one in. Now the reason I bought this is an Android unit, obviously, uh, I will be able to then connect my phone to it uh, and do all sorts of wonderful things, I'm sure. Um, so. Oh, well, yep, new one in. This is going to be a real quick video because my voice is going to disappear long before you do. So there you go. That's what it looks like. Similar to the original, um, but not obviously the same. And first job, transport screws come out. So inside the box, you should in theory have all the wires you need. Um, and some more wires for the GPS and aerial and yeah, other things. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, and some instructions. So, yeah, it looks fairly easy. <laughs> so this is obviously the standard head unit that's going to come out. Um, it works, it does its job, and you'll see in one of my last videos I um, changed the speaker, so made it a little bit better, but you've got no connectivity uh, no way to connect your phone up, no Bluetooth, anything like that. Uh, no sat nav, so hopefully I'll get some good features. Yeah. And maybe a little bit of volume, eh? <laughs> Let's get rid of that. Copyright. Okay, in the pack you do get some of these, um, which, yeah, look nothing like the size that I want. Um, Bendy. There you go, bit of brute force always works. So they slip in there like that, as you can hear, click, click. That is pushing the tabs back. A little bit of bendy on that one as well. So we stick that in there like that and push it in, click, click. And now in theory, <laughs> in theory, it should come out, but I think I might just need two hands. Bear with. So there you go, with a little jiggling of persuasion, it did come out. So if I bring it out a little bit and get you around the side here, um, all these pins are doing, let me, uh, let me explain, um, let me get in a better position. So yeah, all these pins are doing basically is pushing in those tabs there. Um, so you need to give it a little bit of a flex like that and that should release it from out one hole it sits in. Simple as that. Right, so there ain't much to play with at the back here, but you've got your aerial connector, whoops, your aerial connector just there, your block connector just there. Both of those obviously need to come off now. And there you go, not too challenging. Um, the aerial one has a little black plastic tab underneath uh, the bottom of it. Let me see if I can find that. <laughs> Dropping it on the floor. So it has a little black plastic tab like that. You pull that off. And then you have a little tab on the bottom, just there, that you press in, and then that releases it from said hole. Uh, this one, a lot simpler. Cut the tabs on the side, press them in, pull back the cantilever, pop straight off. Right, so that is the old head unit out. So, looking inside the bag, you have different connectors for different applications like so. You also have your CAN bus connector and that's what uh, does the decoding between the new head unit and the steering wheel controls as well. Right so CAN bus connected there and then that obviously goes onto the original block connector there. I'm not going to put it on yet because I don't want to short anything out. 
Um, now obviously there's loads of cables in this kit, uh, as you can see. Most of them I won't be using because the Tigra has only got two speakers in the front doors, obviously. Um, but you've got connections for, well, auxiliaries in, base boxes, all sorts of stuff. Um, I've also got DAB on this, so should be able to pick up some nice internet radio. Um, I've got extensions for using USB connectivity. I've got um, sat nav thing. Um, loads of bits really, um, but obviously a lot of it I won't be using. Um, I'm only going to use the front speakers for now in the doors. Uh, in the future, I may build something that goes in the old cooey hole back there. I don't know. Um, if it sounds good, I'll leave it as it is. Just want it to sound a little bit better than it does at the moment and want to have the connectivity with hands-free and that kind of stuff. Right, so I'm going to get the stereo. I'm going to get all the wiring figured out, get everything plugged in and uh, see where we go from there. And what I have done to make it a little bit easier on myself is just take the glove box off. Nice and easy, two screws at the top, two at the bottom, slides straight out. But then I can get behind and I can put my uh, bits and bobs wherever I need to. Ooh. Oh yeah, it's from a dash cam. I forgot about that. I've got a black box as well. Look at that. Didn't work, but I got one. So, feeding wires down. I've got the aerial wire in. I've got the GPS stuck. Can you see it? GPS stuck up there. And um, just got my DAB loveliness feeding through there, through the back of the dash. There's the wire for it. So we're getting there. Uh, got my block connector on now. No power to it at the moment. What I may have to do at a later date is one of these wires may be a permanent live. I know before when I had an Android, when you switched it off, um, it used to power down completely. And obviously you just wanted to go into standby. Um, but we shall see. Right, so got my aerial, got my 4G, mm, lovely. Got my DAB. Um, I think let's connect it up. There you go. So we're all wired up. Right, let's plop it in the hole. And then we can start it up. And there you go. It's on. It's making a crackly noise. Now I've got to um, learn how to use it. <laughs> Right, so we're making some crackling. It's always a good sign, isn't it? Now I've got to go through and, um, yeah, figure out how to use this. Because at the moment, I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's working and we've got some lovely calming music. Oh, yes. And typically for the UK, it's just started raining. So I'm going to make sure that is mounted in there correctly. I'm going to clear up and... Um, learn well i've got it all working and i've got everything where i want it to be and even you know like usb connectors stuff like that but i warn you now getting it back into the hole again is a truly terrifying situation to be in you gotta reach right around the back there's no room whatsoever and uh, try and feed the wires away from the back of the uh, actual radio so it'll go in uh, but i'm going to persevere and i am going to make it work um, but this bit is probably going to take you longer than actually connecting the thing up. Well, it's in, almost put back together. Uh, it's all working. As you can tell, um, all navigation stuff on it. Um, I've got to learn how to use it properly now. The fitment, to be honest, isn't great. Um, it says it's made for a Tigra, but it clearly isn't because on the Tigra that bit there's flat and on this it's beveled as you can see and it's as far back as it will go um, believe me it was a struggle getting it in um, advice um, if you're going to get one of these well don't because <laughs> they are a pain in the backside now get one but don't be like me I wanted all the functionality if you want all the functionality that's great but just beware getting those cables in the back and getting them rooted is a nightmare uh, I had to hack some of the tray out I had to reroute things. Oh, it was just, it really was hard work. 
if you want just the normal Android kind of stereo, get yourself on the slimline ones because then everything will go in the back. They'll pop straight in, be easy for you. But there you go, that is me fitting an Android head unit into a Tigra. Um, again, not overly impressed, but it is what it is, isn't it? Anyway, I've got the functionality now. I've got my phone all synced up. Um, yeah, it does all weird things with this. Um, whoa, where are we? Uh, let me go to that. Where's the app? Um, I can't remember what it's called now. But there's an app, and it acts like Android, an Apple CarPlay, that kind of thing. Um, as you can see, it's got loads of things. There you go, Zed Links. Uh, that links your phone up and, and turns it into an Android something or other. Uh, you can put the TPS on it. Um, talk I will use. Uh, not connected at the moment because I need to put the Bluetooth dongle in. Um, but yeah it's got functionality on there that I want that I'm going to use. But now I've had enough. It's been quite a few hours doing this and uh, yeah I could. <laughs> right thanks for joining me YouTube. Catch you later.